uneasy on. Um, I do realize that there are a lot of people who would be traumatized in the process of preparing from start to finish a meat eater's meal. You know, raising the livestock and then having to butcher it. You know, something you've grown attached to and then killing it. But I really think it depends on the person, where you've grown up, how you've been raised, your personality, your intelligence, your view on life, you know, it, ha it really depends on the person, just in general. I, I would feel sick while butchering an animal, especially if I had grown attached to it. However, if I were given the, the challenge of raising an animal for my food, I would deny myself the luxury of growing attached to this animal because I know it will cause me way too much pain later. And if I did grow attached, I would make its life very worth living and I would wait until it was very near death before I decided to eat it. Um. So let's say I had a cow, because I really don't think I would grow attached to a chicken, because birds, in my experience, just don't seem to get attached to their owners and get cuddly like a larger animal would. If I were to raise a cow, it would very much distress me to have to kill this animal. However, I have been raised around, well, like, my grandma lived on a farm. And my father lived on a farm. So I live with two people who have grown up on farms. With animals. And... I think with their attitudes that I have grown up with, I have accepted the idea that if I want to eat, I'm gonna have to do it. And... You don't always live in a luxurious climate where you yourself can grow all of the food that you want if you are a vegetarian. Yeah, there's a lot less trauma when you're a vegetarian. You're not killing an animal. However, what climate are you living in? If you live in the north like I do, you can't grow a lot. Um... So, that's all I really have to say, you know, depends on the person, your outlook on it. A lot of people, if they were forced to kill their own food, would probably turn vegetarian. But, you know, in the past, people did kill their food, and they weren't vegetarian. I just, I think it's now with the more modern stuff that we have, we would rather be vegetarian than to kill an animal. I have- I, however, I guess I'm not modern, and I would rather raise my animals, make them happy near the end of their days. I would say, I love you, and I would eat it. God, I'm horrible. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The end. Bye.